I'm gonna give this a shot. I got a little inspiration here. And I'm gonna give you a little taste of uh, my lifestyle. Look here, I found a, a nice case here. You think there's anything in it? Feels like there's something in it. Well, we'll look at it in a minute. So, here's what it, here's what it feel like, you know. I talked to a younger guy today, young, young guy. He'd uh, been on the streets when he was 16. And I talked to him a little bit about, about, you know, some of the things that are not what they appear to be, like all the courthouses in the country. We've got 15 foot doors and 20 foot ceilings on every floor. Makes you wonder why they're so big, and why there was no bathrooms in any of them, and why the water, uh, the mud flood wasn't here. You know, it's like, and why the time changes. Uh, they altered the history and uh, a lot of things, right? A lot of things going on. And there's some things going on that are going to more or less depopulate a lot of people. And it's like, you know, it's all, it's all right there, handwriting on the wall, right? And so it's like, what can I do? Well, what I can do is I can draw on my experience. And my experience from some of these guys that I really, really respected, these gurus that talk about being able to walk through this life unaffected, you know, uh, fearless and uh, constant state of amazement and, and wonder, you know, and uh, a peace that surpasses all understanding. And I found out that that's all based on the water. It's all based on the light. It's all based on going into the darkness and seeing the light. Preparing yourself. You want to go in the waters uh, from above first, the distilled waters. Clarify. Then you want to go in the dark. And you want to light up. Light up your plasma. See what's going on. And it's like, and maybe even make your exodus. You know, like Dan Winters talking about, this is a guy that felt it necessary to move to Portugal because he just couldn't handle, you know, the backlash here in the States or whatever. And it's like, so man, I'm walking down the road, literally, carrying this message you know I found this I found this is a make America great again right I don't know if that's gonna happen but uh, it, it keeps the cars from not hitting me but what I'm saying is and I was hoping that maybe maybe you know there's some people out there that are as radical as I am that might you know have that similarity whatever I'm not, I'm not in any politics, uh, nor do I wish to be. It's, it's, uh, it's an individual thing. And if everybody just started waking up, you know, I keep thinking of Forrest Gump walking across the country. You know, I just walked down the highway. I was stuck in uh, that last exit right there, exit number 22, which they say was Avalon. It's a long ways from paradise. In fact, four, you know, is the death card. But four can be a good thing. If you die in the mind and the body, in order that you might live in the spirit. And that's essentially what we're talking about here. You're, you're dying in the mind and the body so that you can wake up to the light. And then when you wake up to the light, that you are the plasma consciousness. And look, here's an antenna. You see this antenna? That's what Dan Winter talks about. He says, we're a, we're a plasma toroidal antenna with the capacity to transmit to make our exodus, essentially. Just like the Jews and a lot of other people have talked about. Anyway, it's like, I just got this feeling that it's getting real close. It's like now or never. And so here I am. 
on the road again you know and it's like uh i'm not even sure where i'm going i'd like to get along around some like-minded people but then again you know i'd just like to be able to show i was thinking about this last night that a lot of these gurus you know they sit around and they show you their peace okay and they show you their stillness and they show you uh, a lot of wonderful things particularly if you're in their presence you feel it but that's not doing a lot of people in America any good so what I what I decided to do was show it off in other words you know get that alligator out of the road that alligator right there. speaking of alligators I saw a three-foot alligator on the shoulder of the road today run over and then I started looking over here in the grass thinking you know what I might get eaten by an alligator in here in Florida huh, you never know so I mean I better get it out it's like you think this guy's edible this guy right here look at it I don't know are those the ancestors I don't know does that is that what the earth really looks like maybe it may look like a mushroom with the top of the shaft of the mushroom invisible you know kind of like a galaxy rather than a round earth I saw a time-lapse video of star trails and it was a it was a double star trail like uh, two owl eyes. So how can we get a double time-lapse star trail, a double, coming off, what, the North Pole? Really? And still be a globe and, and, you know, I worked at NASA for two years. Nobody would ever look at me at NASA. Walking down the hallway, they wouldn't even look at me. I knew there was something up. Anyway, just letting it out there. Just getting it out there and waking up. You go into the waters, you go into the distilled water, you clear up, and then you go into your water, you go in the dark, and you light up. And when you do that, you're prepared to make your exodus. And so no matter what they do in this second light that we're living in, you're of the first light. And you'll make that exodus, you'll make that plasma exodus with all the other plasma, if that's going to happen. And there's some stuff in the Nag Hammadi that talks about that. Anyway, it's like, man, come on, it's real simple. This is the easiest way. Go to sleep for three days. Clean yourself up and go to sleep for three days. You know, that's what you got to do. And that's preparation for what's coming. It's not going to be financial. It's not going to be economic. It's not going to be political. You know, don't worry about any of that. None of it. It doesn't even matter. What matters is the light. You know, serve one master, the light. And that's what I'm saying. You got to do it, man. You got to do that or you're going to just keep looping in this BS because that's what it is it's BS and I'm telling you I'm walking around this country and nobody's awake everybody's out of shape uh, they're not clear they're not awake and I'm scaring the hell out of them I, I thought I was the one that was going to be scared on this trip well it's the other way around I'm walking down this road they got a sign that says oh no pedestrians no bicycles and no motor motor vehicles less than five barrel horsepower and i walked down here anyway and i walked across a two mile bridge yesterday and i wasn't supposed to do that either and you know what nobody's messing with me the cops aren't even messing with me and if they are i'm going to tell them you know what i got a bunch of angels following me if you mess with me you're going to pay for it and I believe it. 
I really believe it. It's like the Federation of Light or something. You'd be on the right side, you know? Just be on the right side of all of this, and you'll be all right. Anyway, Spiritual Chuck out. Out of here. Like a plasma toroidal antenna transmitting. Not just receiving 300 million frequencies per second into my DNA. How about beef up my plasma wall of my DNA and make myself a transmitter? Right? And transmit out of here. Anyway, peace, love, and light.